What is going on, my Concise Conversation family? I hope you guys are all doing well today. I'm here with my friend. You can introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Tina. Yes. <laughs> no, that's it. That's cool. Um, yeah, so we're on UCR's campus, uh, just enjoying our day today. Um, and I want to talk about a topic that was has been on my mind for a little bit. So, And Tina's a deep thinker, I've noticed. So I was like, hey, let's do it. Um, so that is the power of doing things with intention and how this affects your karma. Um, so I think over the past year, um, especially since COVID for sure, I've been like, you know, just trying to be more self-aware of the actions that I'm doing in life and just just realizing what are my goals and how I'm gonna get there yeah and I think um, you know having that goal and then having that intent to reach that goal allows me to break it down into smaller pieces and be intentional about those small pieces so I can like you know achieve my goal yeah. and I think when you are self-aware about those things uh, I've been like I was telling you before I've been uh, going on this little spiritual journey that I've been starting um, and I've learned about karma mm -hmm. and karma really just translates to activity a lot of people think karma is like this whole big scary thing it's not it's, it's activity you know yeah. so your action is going to lead to a reaction and that is karma so i feel like with doing things with intention and always doing things with love too that's what you know that's the backbone but doing things with intention positively affects your karma so that's what i've been trying that's what i've learned over you know this past year but what are, what are your takes on that um yeah i also have been thinking more about living my life with more intention mm. just because i think uh with this world of like with technology and everything doing everything for us yeah. we are kind of encouraged to live more passively mm. like for example with our phones like we can just instead of driving or like even driving right. even, like we're just like when we if we want to go see our friends uh -huh. it's like we can just call them right. or video chat them right, that's right. like a passive action mm. instead of going out of our way to walk to their house mm. and have a full conversation like we are right now right, like right. some people would just prefer since like you said with the world of covid uh -huh. everyone wants to they're just so lazy they don't right. want to do anything and i think when we start work walking and moving with like intention mm. i think it shifts our energy towards and our perspective towards right. different things where we like notice the little details exactly. instead of looking at the bigger picture right. and I think when I started living more with intention and stop living more in a passive way mm -hmm. I think I learned more about myself and right. what makes me happy mm -hmm. instead of what I can serve for others that, that is no that is dope and I really like how you said <clears throat> you know it's about the things that make you happy because I feel like that especially as a student we get caught up in just the day to day of just doing things, doing school things, just like we were just talking about it, this yeah. girl will be on campus for a hella long. I was like, yeah. whoa, it could not be me. But, you know, I feel like you get caught up in just going through the motions, you know? Yeah. I think the, going through the motions is the opposite of doing things with intention. Yeah. Because um, when you just go through the motions, like, you don't even notice how the things that you're doing are affecting you, you know? Yeah. So that's why I really like that you brought that up because I feel like self-care is doing things that make you happy, you know? So if you are moving, through your life with intention and you notice what makes you happy then you could put more uh, intention into exactly. doing those things right exactly that's, oh, come what I'm on, come on. that's how i like found myself because i think for a while i've just like uh let people dictate mm -hmm. my life like for example mm -hmm. i grew up in um a very sheltered home yeah. and they kind of live in a more passive way right. they don't think of intention like for example like i think the small things does count it does. like for example like you know when you like greet someone mm -hmm. you like give them a little small hug right, right. i think that counts Most for something definitely. it's like showing them that you like care about mm -hmm. them and if you just instead of just saying hi yeah. like that's like the yeah, creates distance most dead. but most as a, <laughs> yeah but i was like saying with like um i guess with, with the sheltered with me being sheltered right, right. and living with my parents it kind of controlled my life mm. and when I um, let them control my life I basically was on autopilot mm -hmm. and I didn't know what how to like move or like do what I want my passion right, right. what I wanted with my life who I wanted in my mm. life and like the people right especially and I think once I went to college and started like oh this is my life now mm -hmm. and like control. I have the power exactly of, like I have a, the power to control my life right. that's like when I realized I can reclaim my power yeah, and I have like this and I think I realized putting intention towards the people I want to hang out mm -hmm. with towards my major towards like my career I think that like honestly changed my life forever yeah. and I think this is where I am now where I can think more maturely that is dope that's the one thing that um while you were talking that caught my attention was yeah. um so we we're just talking about you being in cancer yeah. and I'm a cancer uh -huh. rising so yeah. you know we moved through life with our emotions and mm -hmm. because would you consider yourself an empath like an empathic person yeah okay <laughs> most time, most time. you know I, did, I knew the answer already i just have to confirm but um so um 
us being empath, you know, we naturally are just taking in the energy and the emotions of people around us just yes. naturally because that's how yeah. we perceive life, you know. Mm -hmm. So when you're not grounded or not intentional about the energy that you want in your yeah. space, then you're just taking in everything. And it gets overwhelming in the sense, mm -hmm. that you, especially at school where you're around so many people and just so many moving parts, you know. Yeah. So when you're, especially as, you know, cancer energy, you know, not to get into astrology or whatever, but especially as cancer energy and especially as people who are empathic like you have to set that boundary with intention to know that um, you know what someone else might be telling you what someone else might be at the end of the day projecting onto you you cannot and take that you cannot take that I guess seriously in a sense or you cannot take that to heart because um, you don't know what their intentions are either you know they again projection is a big thing that people don't really realize at the end of the day it was like um, a lot of people feed or tell you things off of their emotions and if yeah. they're telling you things off of your emotions then they're projecting onto you yeah. and if you are not grounded if you're not intentional then you can take that deeper than you should actually take it so yeah. I feel like the way that I have been trying to create more boundaries in my mm -hmm. life is to move with intention and like like you were saying mm -hmm. being intentional about who my friends are being intentional about, intentional about who I want in my you know energy field exactly. and I feel like by doing that I've been able to live a more peaceful yeah. and grounded life exactly I agree with that and like yeah. what caught my attention was like um, taking a lot of energy like a different type mm -hmm. of energy in. I think that's like a result of being burnt out as well it's we were talking that, about it earlier that. too about like um, Cause like we are surrounded with like so many people and i don't think we are like as humans we're not supposed to meet this many people this so like yeah, in rapid pace exactly. i think in the world of TikTok, i mm. think it like speeds up that process Most where does. we like absorb so much information and we see so many faces we kind of like just don't know how to process and move ourselves and i think uh when you said all that it right. like it made me think about like how like a lot of people that I've met, like even young people especially, because mm. they're like susceptible to like losing a sense of self, because they just like see so many things that like they want to be, but you know you just can't be yeah, all of them at the can. same time. Yeah, and I think that's why like moving with intention, you like found like one goal, not one goal, mm. but you like found like specific, yeah, something specific. You can, you can create like a foundation of right. what you want to become, and you can just collect those things small with like mm -hmm. you just like great like no just that is no things. most definitely but you have to do that with intention most you, definitely you can't do it like exactly. passively exactly like you just can't hang out with like just anyone yeah, and right. like be like oh i'll be fine right at the end right of the day. right like at the end of the day you're like shifting energies uh -huh, and exactly training, exactly like, and i don't think i don't think um in a sense like people might think of that as a transactional relationship and i was mm -hmm. like i don't think so i think at the end of the day like if your intention, like, um, with your friends, let's say even, if your intention is just to go to be supported, to be loved, to have a good time, like, it doesn't have to be anything monetary, it doesn't have to be anything tangible, really. Yeah. It could just be, yeah, I want to go and I want to feel comfortable around my friend, and that's yeah. the intention that you're going with. So hopefully, you know, that is shifts you more towards that outcome, you mm -hmm. know? Um, dang, there's something that you were saying that I wasn't thinking about, but it totally slipped my mind. But, um, so do you know about karma or do you like believe in karma or i do i'm starting to believe more about karma and because i'm also entering like my spiritual like journey right nice, now nice. i think it's like helping me like find a path in my life so i don't know too much about it mm. so maybe no, no, you for sure. no it. most def i would say like again i feel like karma as a word is very um what's the word just very loaded you know there's mm -hmm. like people don't really know a lot about it but um, for me, like like I said, I even have it written on my whiteboards. I say, uh, move with love. Right? Mm -hmm. and that's what I always try and do. And I think that in itself is good karma, and that's intentional. Mm -hmm. uh, but again, what I think karma is is just your actions. You know, every action has a reaction. So, um, and I don't think like some people might say like um, like they do bad things or whatever, and they're like, oh, that's bad karma. And I, like I feel like because of people just using it so loosely that's why no one knows anything about it because yeah. it's very you know just vague but i really think it does come down to just action at the end of the day and like really yeah going back to intention like because i feel like i try and do everything with love and even oh what you were saying before like you know giving someone a hug like, i literally got a compliment uh, yesterday and they were like i always someone said to told me i always look forward to your hugs yes, i was like wow exactly. thank you so that's, much that's you know what I'm thank you so much and i feel like every time i give a hug i intentionally want to make that person feel yeah, better you know exactly. so like it, is good, it does go back to the little things it know? does yeah. it builds up and i think when you do those like small intentions like oh like when you said self-care i was also thinking about that too yeah for example like oh brushing your teeth mm -hmm. it's as like, simple as that if yeah. you if you can like push even though you're like tired like at the end of the night and 
as long as you're like able to push yourself to brush your teeth at least and like give you that small intent of self-love yeah i think it goes a long way as you go older you kind of just use that routine and like that's just you showing your way of like you know yeah, yeah. most definitely that's self-love and i like that you say that because it really is a little thing i think um something that came up in my head while you were talking um is self-discipline is self-love too, that you is know? too because even for me like in this whole in these past two quarters i'm, just, I'm about to graduate so i've been chilling you know definitely on the mm -hmm. more chill end mm -hmm. uh, and i feel like because of that i've gotten very complacent and comfortable yeah. like not really doing passive. much mm -hmm. yeah passive exactly mm -hmm. passive so because of that and because I was self-aware about that, mm -hmm. I now try to, you know, I'm on campus today. I've been, I've been coming to campus, yeah. I've been trying, you know, so mm -hmm. uh, I think that comes with self-discipline because if I wasn't telling myself, okay, dude, like going to campus is in your best interest, mm -hmm. then I wouldn't have gone to campus, you know? Yeah. I would have seen, it's about priority, you know? If mm -hmm. I see me chilling at home, me, you know, just not really doing anything as a higher priority than going to campus and like, just having action, you know, yeah. better action than um, I wouldn't have done it. So I think self-discipline is all, self-discipline is linked to self-love and all, both of those things are, are intention, you know. Yeah. Like, it's like you are intentionally, intentionally doing things for yourself to make your life better. And yeah. I think that is a, that's really the main point of intention at the end of the day, to do little things um, to reach your goal. And I mm -hmm. think when you do the little things and you're humble about it and you're and you're grateful, I think that's yeah. another big thing. Like having intentional gratitude makes yes. everything in life so much better because you're happy. You appreciate the little things more. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I also made me think about like this, like this phrase where you fake it till you make mm -hmm. it. Where like even though you like, for example, you don't technically enjoy this thing, but if you put your whole like 100 percent right. to it and you put a lot of intention yourself into this thing that you might not think is for you right. i think most most of the time some people like end up loving it because yeah. they just it's like you know put a lot of intention like they just put a lot of thought put a lot of effort and with all that thought and effort like something it's not good yeah something it. it has to it has like to. it can't just like mm -hmm. be like because that's oh. karma exactly nah, that's, oh, what now, karma that's what karma is that's what karma is you know so, so yeah, yeah just being what, intentional yeah, yeah just you just put a lot of effort and that's like when uh, I, I was thinking about like my personal story where I right. lived with my parents because uh. they're very passive people mm. and I just learned from that yeah. before I went to college Naturally, and yeah. I think when I'm on my own and I'm learning how to move with more intention I think I taught my mom that mm. about like yeah. moving with intention. It does affect the people around It does. You. Yeah. Like I started calling her more and like she usually just takes it like oh it's just a phone call but yeah. I'm like no mom it's not just a phone yeah. call this is me like saying that I care about you I want to mm. know about your day. Exactly. I love you and like this is something that means a lot to me and I hope you can do the same, like yeah. reciprocate the same mm. intention that I have for Most you. Definitely. And then she's like, oh, I didn't think of that way. I yeah. just assume it's and just sometimes like- Sometimes people don't, you know, don't think in that way. So that's yeah. good that you, you know, brought I it up. Yeah, and I think yeah. with that intention, I think my mom and my relationship have deepened a exactly. lot. Most which is something bad. I never I thought would happen. I love that for you, I love exactly. that for you. Exactly. No, that's dope. It like kind of taught me how to love in a way. That is like, so dope. And um, going back to, um, you know, with when you have more intention, it affects the people around you. Um, mm -hmm. My mom literally just texted me the other day because she was watching one of my mm -hmm. other uh, YouTube videos mm -hmm. with my barber. Um, mm -hmm. His name's Gerson, he has his own mm -hmm. business, everything. Mm -hmm. And we were talking about being intentional and building a brand for yourself and yeah. like uh, building a business. And she said, because of watching that video, she was like, I am choosing now to be more intentional about my dreams, which is like, she's writing a second book. She wrote a book and uh, she's yeah. writing a second one. Mm -hmm. So she's like, yeah, I'm gonna be more mm -hmm. intentional about intentional about it and realize that it's for myself at the end of the day so yeah. i think the theme of this video is definitely going to be um being intentional is self-love i think that's the overarching theme and um just being grateful for the little things because i think the little things definitely add up to something bigger and it happens when you're uh, intentional about it Mm -hmm. So I hope you guys thank you for doing this with yeah, me. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, I stuff. love it. She's gonna be back on. Don't even worry. <laughs> don't even worry. But I think I uh, thank you guys for watching. And I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. All right. Bye. Peace out.